What's up, YouTube? Silverstein here, coming back at you for a um, little unboxing. Uh, coming all the way uh, out of Las Vegas. Um, actually, this is probably the first silver order I've ordered for a while since all the, the spot price, or not the spot price, well, the spot price dropped, but the premiums went freaking through the roof, and I kind of stopped. I wasn't going to pay 10 15 bucks. You know, over spot for a uh, freaking an ounce of silver. But um, I thought uh, I'd go ahead and try now. This is obviously through Jam Bullion, you know, the Las Vegas ad uh, address on there. Uh, so I, would, I went through their um, silver available. And uh, I actually I purchased this on Tuesday. Um, said it was actually supposed to be here tomorrow on Saturday, but, uh, made it here Friday, which makes a lot more sense because normally I'll buy on Wednesday and I'll get it here Saturday, but, um, that's that, but, uh, <clears throat> so it seems like shipping is back up like it should be, um, and actually, I guess <clears throat> that's a good thing too, is, um, I used <clears throat> my, uh, veterans discount as well to purchase this and that kind of sucked too because before all this i was like all right freaking jm they actually made it super easy to uh <clears throat> get my va or uh, my va get my veterans discount through them um just had to send them a picture of my <clears throat> dd214 and a driver's license and i mean simple quick fast i mean I tried to, to do the same thing through uh, Provident Metals, and they <clears throat> lost my paperwork or whatever. So, just uh, for any veterans out there or any of you uh, active military out there, JM makes the process so much, so much easier. So, we've got three of these, all right? You can obviously see the queen's face on there. This is something, yeah, I'm probably a little bit behind on. I've been lacking. But at the same time, <clears throat> like I said, this is when the spot price, not the spot price, spot price dropped, but the premiums went ridiculous. And I was just kind of holding off. But I'm glad I'm finally able to use my uh, veterans discount. So, what did I get? I got, like I said, three of these. It's six ounces. White horse of Hanover. Of course, that's a Queen's Beast 2020. And I did not have any of these in my collection whatsoever. Uh, I do collect the Queen's Beast series. I think they're pretty awesome, pretty cool. And I'm sure all that. That is just uh, on the flip right there. I'm going to go through them real quick, make sure nothing really sticks out. I did get, I don't remember what it was, but uh, it had milk spots on it. And then I looked at it <clears throat> when I was actually reviewing it, and it had scratches on it. And that was pretty disappointing. I think I only got two of those, whatever they were, I don't remember. These all look pretty decent. Definitely... Uh, I mean, it's cool. It's a cool round. Or is it a coin? Does it have a dollar denomination on it? Oh, five pounds. Oh, it's a coin, yeah. So, um... Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I mean, not my favorite, but not uh, not the one... Not my least favorite either. Either, so... It's pretty cool. And there's that one. Let me go to the final one. So, yeah, these all look like they're in... No. Pretty decent shape. Two ounces. Very cool. Just more, more to the stack, right? There we go. So, yep. Uh, that's it so far. Like, uh, I think it was uh, <clears throat> North Country Off Grid. He said, "Look, there's Grandma." But uh, all right, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, I'll probably do um, next. Probably break out all the Queen's Beasts that I have. And I've had them from uh, what, when the line came out. So I'll uh, do a quick uh, review on all of them all together. But uh, that's it for now. I will uh, talk to you all on the next one.